G'day and thanks for joining me, I'm Faintly Saintly, and today we're looking at a game called Tiny Kingdom. This is the demo of an upcoming game that's due to release in quarter 4 2024, and it's described as a city builder slash roguelike deck builder, so already ticking some boxes for me. Looks like it has a charming little uh, pixel art style as well, and uh, I will have a link to this one in the description if you want to go check out the demo for yourself and add this to your wishlist. So let's jump in and have a look. Greetings, this isle doth become thy newfound realm. Arrange it to thy liking and let us witness the feats thou shalt accomplish. Okie dokie, what have we got here? A little island in the middle of nowhere. Some cards. Looks like an objective. Reach 10 population, I assume. We have a deck. We have currency and I guess population. Wooden house, island and wooden house. Plus two population. Draw a card. Adds field card or lumberyard card. Island or another wooden house. Let's pop down a house, shall we? Right in the middle. Okie dokie. It's the field or lumberyard card. That must go straight into the deck, I assume, which looks like I can pay to draw. But I think we do want to expand the island, right? So I might as well use these island cards. Let's chuck down another little house. Why is that glowing? Do they... Do they link? Do they... Boost each other? You found a new card. Lumberyard. Adds wooden house card or pier card for each adjacent tree. Okie dokie. Keep these houses coming. No one's hanging over a little bit. I'm sure he's perfectly safe. A wheat field. Plus one gold. Plus one for an adjacent field. Good to know. Another island. Thank you. Oh, that one had a tree on it. I should have put it over here. So what do I do? Do I just have to pay to draw cards? Wheat field. There we go. So how often does that give me plus one gold? Is that like every action? Is that a turn? Lumber yard for each adjacent tree. There we go. Uh, let's draw. Another wheat field, thank you. So they'll pair up nicely together. Another house. Another lumber yard. Another house. Is that a stone? I might not interfere with a stone, I might put the house there. There we go, we've reached our population of 10. We've got a little bonus for that, now we want to reach 20. Can I rotate these? I can. Hmm. Is it worth putting a janky island down just to get an extra tree next to that lumber yard? Could do it that way. Or I could do it down here and have another lumber yard down here somewhere. I'll do that. Another lumber yard. There we go. Adds island or fish shop. Blocks water. Okie dokie. Wheat field. Another one there. Thank you. You can see a little uh, people running around here too. Very cute. Another wooden house. Well, I don't really want to cover that rock, but I think I might have to. Another lumber yard. Adds Island or Fish Shop. Hmm. Oh wow. 
added lots. Stackable. Building can be placed on top of the same type. What does that mean? I can buff that one. Oh, hold on. That didn't stack, that it's destroyed. <laughs> Some odd island formation there. I don't know if I want to be doing that, but anyway. Another wheat field. What do we get? A remove card. I need some more of these islands to come out because I am running out of room. Another pier. Fish shop, draw a full hand of cards. Okay. Another island, thank you. Some nice trees there. Not gonna use the remove. Not gonna use that remove. Fish shop would be nice. Doesn't need to be next to a house, does it? So can I remove this now? Served its purpose. A hop field. Okay. And what's the difference? Don't know yet. Uh, there we go. Let's keep drawing. Keep drawing. Harvest adjacent completed fields. Interesting. So I'll pop you there. Bakery plus two for adjacent house. Okay. So build the fields around this, I guess. We've reached 20 population. Little bonus there, another hop field. Lumber yard. Bakery. Shame I can't uh, pop it anywhere that I'll get to at once, but anyway. Island, that's good. Just drop it on top of that lumber yard there. Pop you next to the bakery. So I assume I'm doing the right thing in taking out these lumber yards because they're giving me cards and then clearing the space. So I, I can only assume that's a good thing. Okay, give me those islands. Thank you very much. Need lots more space. Keep them coming. Um, yeah, I'll keep these piers coming because I really want these islands. Like all this extra space I'm getting now, that's awesome. Another hop field, chuck you there. Another remove card. 
That'll be ours good there. Another island, thank you. Another house. Ah, oh, didn't. Mm, didn't see that through. There we go. Another remove card, that's handy. Another remove card. Yard. Another pier, that's good. Another wooden house, that's good. What is the goal? 50 population, I'm at 28 at the moment. Yeah, so maybe we should start removing them. Because they are sort of getting in the way now. Very nice. I should have checked to see if the uh, pier does anything after the fact, but... Ah, they leave a lot of rubbish. A fish shop? Yes, please. Oh, that's gotta be near a house. There we go. Another hop field. Why can't I join it with this one? Not sure. Another island. How chill is this, by the way? Just the combination of the music and the art style and just building a little island. That's a shame, I'll hold on to that. Another wheat field. Okay. So, what's going on here then? I'm out of cards. What does that mean for me? Oh, that's the end. Game over. Your town's population is 32. Resume? What can I do if I resume? Nothing. <laughs> okay, so here's my first, first island attempt. Interesting. So it's the kind of game, it doesn't give you a tutorial, it doesn't uh, hold your hand, it's just like, here's a little odd, here's some cards, off you go. Uh, so basically you don't want to run out of cards. You just want to keep it going as long as you can. And just build up a little population. Okay. Okay, so they give me cards, which is good. That's going into my deck. I'll pop you there. You gave me two cards. If I place the pier, you should give me more cards. Well, that's a lot of trees. Another little house. How long was the run then? It was about 10 to 15 minutes. Not too bad. Very nice, leveled up. Got that little bonus. Getting lots of islands early. Wheat field.
lots of islands happening. So if I do that, I'll get plus three cards. Gotcha. Plus four cards. There we go. Need to clear these trees. Another pier. More islands, thank you. Another pier. That's not like all the mess they leave behind. House, lumberyard. Need to look at getting rid of some of those trees and clearing that space. Getting plenty of uh, lumberyard cards at least. Game over? Why? Oh, I'm out of money. Hmm. Interesting. So it really does play like a... There's a card game in essence. You have your limited resources. You have to manage them intelligently or it's a game over for you. So you need to balance money and a good way to get money i suppose is well the difference in that playthrough was i didn't get a lot of wheat fields like i did in the first one i also didn't really reach my objectives so that wouldn't help let's get some houses down wheat field very nice so why am i getting card draws now or is that just part of the house? Oh yes, that's the effect. It draws a card and then adds a field or lumpyard to your hand. Or to your deck, sorry. Got it. Plus one. So is that only... Okay, so it's basically when you place it. You earn that. Don't know what we can do about these rocks. Plus two. I've got two cards left. Plus two cards, that would be great. Thank you. Another house. Reach that goal, got a cash bonus. And another few cards in the in the deck, which is good. Um let me keep these cards coming. More cards, please. Field. Okay, it's a bit different this one, so I won't stack with those, but that's okay. Money is money. Another pier, okay. Pop you out there. I'm gonna do that, get that card and get rid of that lumpy yard and free up that space. I'm gonna do the same there. Bit of gold. It's interesting how every playthrough has varied so far. Like this one, I'm not getting a whole lot of trees. Getting some more uh, wheat fields, which is keeping the money afloat at least. 
There's so many wooden houses. What was that? Is that like a just a progression thing or that little arrow bar that pops up here? It's like when you fill that, I got a mill. So it's like a like a tech level almost. I'm not really sure. Go build a fish hut there. Give me lots of cards. Well, hopefully that won't come back to bite me. Can't play some mill. Couple of dollars. Would love an island. <laughs> I need more space. Lumberyard, lumberyard, wheat field. Give me that cash. Give me that cash. Gonna lumber up right there. And then destroying another card. That's a pier, that's good. Alrighty. That unlocks the bakery. Got five cards left in there. Wooden house. Don't really want to take up this space, but I don't really have an option at this point. Okay, we reached 20 population. Got a bit of cash there. We've got three cards left. Pia might help. Another lumberjack. Four cards left. Look at these damn rocks. Two cards left. If I put a lumber yard here, I'll get three cards. If I do it again, another three. Okay, I'm sort of getting it now. Another pier. Gives me more islands. There's a little tree, I'll pop you down there. Another wooden house, thank you. More trees. Perfect. I'm gonna wait on that one. There we go. A bakery. Plus two gold for adjacent house. I remove the fish shop. I'm going to pop a house right there. Oh no, that's not going to work for me, is it? Let's keep drawing. I need islands. That leveled up. Another remove card or two. Another pier, thank you. Okay, now we're talking. One more island would be great. Perfect. House. Hmm. I was trying to work out whether I'd be better off going for the extra cards or whether that is a great place for a bakery. Another 
hot field. Another wooden house. So now I might remove that bakery. And use that to the full potential and get three cards in the deck. Which is very nice. Another wheat field. Another lumber yard. Get those trees out of here. I hate these piers, just how messy they are. Let's start removing them, I suppose. I want to keep that clear for more wheat fields. Expand the housing down. About 32 population. Hmm. Another wheat field, thank you. Do you automatically harvest these or what happens there? Or is it only once I place it? the island that way, then the love yard goes there and gives me two cards. Another pier there as well. Another wheat field. I'm going to remove these rocks. Or just one of them, maybe. Oh, okay. So that's just the completion of that structure, right? So when this is placed and it says it removes one complete wheat field, it will take this. But this is a separate one. How many wooden houses? If I get two complete wheat fields, then put a mill like in the middle. That could potentially be quite good for me. Same as this, I suppose. Just need to start drawing these mills. Another pier. Well, we've got a tree at least. Here we go, 14 gold, 11 cards. More trees is good. I'm going to make these all adjacent. There we are. Three more cards, please. I should start placing these down again. Keep the cards flowing. Another tree. House will complete that set, whatever that does for me. 
Cop fields, good. A fish shop could be good as well. That needs to be next to a house, doesn't it? Okay, that house is complete. That's when we get the mill. Gotcha. There we go. Another completed wheat field. They go on top, don't they? So I really want to stop adding cards to the top. Until I can get rid of these. Get rid of these, I mean, with the mill. But I'm just making it hard for myself now. Can that work there? No. So I'll just start making some room in my hand, but I, oh, here we go. Look at this. Boom. Very nice. And we have some wheat fields that I can reconnect as well, which would be good. And it's full of like, three lumber yards that I can't use. Pop the house down. field. Good. One more house and I'll reach my 50 population milestone. And then I'll unlock a stone house, which could be good. I'm going to remove that. Place a little bakery there. No, maybe I'll wait. Here we go, island with some trees on it. Another disgusting pier. And I do want to uh, just keep expanding. Beautiful. The gold is always good. And is full. Time for the lumber yard. The hot field completed. Gives me some remove cards. Wooden house. I think I'm going to remove this. And this. Eventually these houses will all join. Found a new card. Oh, there's my population. Stone house. Plus four. Draw a card at a quarry. That might be a natural way to get rid of those rocks finally. And they don't stack with regular houses. It's disappointing. Here's our quarry. When you build it, it adds a stone house or a mill. That's good. For each adjacent rock. Wooden house. Add to that collection there. And I was saving a bakery. I'll just pop that there. 
Get a bit of gold. Another hop field. I'm waiting for a mill to plop it right there. Um, lumber yard. I could do that, but I don't really need to at this stage. Just want to complete this row of housing. And get another mill up and about. Another filthy pier. I feel that's suitable for the quarry. If I ever get one, oops. Is that? I'll trap some water in this, some fish in there. That could be potentially good in the future. I assume there's some sort of fishing cards. A hot field as well. What about him? Up to 70 population. Quarry. Three cards. And a mill. Gonna remove that rock. I'm gonna place another pier. Put those trees next to each other so the Lombiards can get to work. Fish shop down. Another island, nice clean one. Where do I place that? I might put that up here so I can extend these housing some more. Well, that's a filthy island, isn't it? Stones and trees. What's the best way? I guess that way. A bit of money from the hot field. Here's more remove cards. Always welcome. Another wooden house. Another one. So many hop fields going on. Um, I may as well build this lumber yard. Might wait for that one actually. A remove card, more islands, another stone house, another quarry is good. Lots of trees down here. The lumberyards will be happy with that. Another wooden house completed. Another mill. I've only got 10 gold, so I need to be keeping an eye on that as well. No, I don't want to do that yet. I want this mill. If it ever turns up. Bakery. 
That'll do. Get some gold happening. I want this mill to turn up, but I keep putting cards on top of it, I think. Yeah, it is full. It's a shame. Um, I guess I'd build another pier. That's a real shame. Especially because I think I'm just burying the cards I want. When I reach 100 population, I get a, a castle there. That's interesting. Mill, here we go. Beautiful. A tavern. Discard hand and draw a full hand of cards. Oh, I don't know about that. Another quarry. Excellent. Couldn't actually clear that space. I don't think I want a tavern. Not at this point in time, anyway. The money's concerning. Because, uh... I'm running out. Maybe I need to use the tavern, then. Maybe I can... Let's clear some space here. Um, what should I do? This doesn't really make a lot of sense, but I'm just using them up so I can place the tavern down. That should be near a house, I guess. Yep. So I didn't technically discard anything, but I got a full hand now. I'm a bit more happening up here. Another hop field is fantastic news. Ugly little pier. Wheat field, excellent. Except that little house is in the way. Oh, that's not good, because now I can't complete that wheat field. Population's nearly at 100, though, so... Castle's not too far off. One more house will do it. Lumberyard... Just take that out. I got seven gold left. Hmm. Really, that's annoying. Very annoying, actually. 
Um, how can I do this to the best effect? Tavern might be... Oh, no, I really want to keep the mill, though. I only got one gold left. Castle part. A building stage. Okay, and they're stackable. Right. A little bit concerned. A little bit concerned. Didn't really want to have to waste this right now, but I think I might have to. Quarry, get rid of that. Okay, I have another mill now, so I suppose it's not a bad idea to draw the tavern. Right. We'll see. We have our remove, which is good. Gonna build some islands. Lumberyard there. Another quarry, that's good. Can use that to clean this up. Another mill. Very soon. Hop field, okay, that's... That's a relief. Um, yes, I want to do that. Another wooden house. Population 125 for the next castle part. Oh, this is getting close. I'm going to have to remove that stone to place the mill. Oh, that didn't actually help me in the end, did it? Unfortunately, I thought that would give me some money for the harvested crops, but it didn't. It just cleared the space. Could be the last draw here. game over. Population 106, so certainly a lot more successful than the first attempt. Let's just have a little quick look around here. So a bit of an expansion down here with all these ugly piers. I have this little uh, landlocked lake or something. Um, looks like I could have done some fishing. I don't know if that was actually something that was eventually going to be unlocked. Looks like it does something anyway. Lots of houses, lots of mills. Didn't get to build the castle though, which is a shame. But uh, something to work on. Clearly, um, yeah, it took me a few games to really understand what was what was going on, what was happening, and how to manage the resources. But in the end, just wasn't generating the gold that I needed, which is a shame. But uh, oh well, it was a pretty good run. And this is such a, a satisfying and fun little game if you just want to chill out. Um, just the atmosphere, the music, the graphics, just no stress, just chill out for a bit. It's uh, really good for that. So, as I said, this is just a demo. The full game is out in quarter four, 2024. We'll have a link in the description for this one um, if you want to go check out the demo for yourself and chuck that on your wish list and support the developer. And if you'd like to support me and you like this video and want to see more, please consider subscribing. It helps me out a lot and will keep you in the loop when new videos drop. I do cover lots of indie games, new and upcoming, and VR games as well. So if that's the kind of thing you're interested in, um, stick around for more. And if you have any game suggestions, just let me know in the comments down below, and I'll do my best to get back to you.
So thank you again for watching. This was Tiny Kingdom and uh, I will see you again next time. Cheers.